All right, Kareem! Ah, you suck, Kareem. Hello? Huh. Hey, Ted. Yeah, I... Oh, hey. Hey there, fella. How are you? Are you out here all alone? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Uh, you know, you're never alone when you're with Christ. So, no, I, I'm not alone. Yeah. Yeah, me too. You know, Robert and I could give you a very, very good home. Yeah, you know, I, I'm pretty happy where I am. I just got a sh new apartment. I can I... offer you $6,000 in railroad bonds. Uh, well, you know, since I just returned from active duty in the Civil War, that actually sounds very appealing. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, that was 150 years ago, and uh, I don't give a sh Okay. Teddy, come on, we're gonna be late for dinner with your friends. Okay, I'll be there in a second, baby. As you can see, my dance card is quite full, yeah. so okay. I'm gonna have to decline. Wait, can I just get a hug? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. No, 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 I, I, and it yeah. kills me to... They have to tell you no, because I'm a people pleaser. Yeah. But, uh, you know, thank you for creeping up my night, and Jesus be with you. Okay. In Christ. Who was that guy? Oh, that, that was uh, Sinead O'Connor. She don't look so good no more. How great is this? On the four of us out to dinner, how long have we been saying we were going to do it? Laurie, how, how you doing? I, I haven't talked to you in forever. I'm good. I'm good. Um, the company's having their 20th anniversary party next week, so mm. that's something. Ari's the senior VP at a big, huge PR firm. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, company's turning 20, huh? so you can bang it, but you can't get it drunk. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, she gets it. She gets She enjoys my humor. Yeah, I mean, Rex is having a house party, but I'm surprised John didn't tell you, considering you two have seen each other every single day since you moved out. Well, you know, it's funny, because whenever Johnny and I hang out, uh, the first item on our agenda is, uh, what's going on with Lori? So, you know, it's funny that that didn't come up. That must have slipped through the cracks. Yeah, I mean, we do. We talk about you all the time. Yeah, you remember the other day I was saying how great Lori's hair always looks. I mean, oh, my God, it always looks so great. I just always want to brush it. You know, I, I, it's right, Johnny? I say that. So, Tammy Lynn, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, where are you from? I'm always fascinated to meet Ted's girlfriends. What do you mean, got friends? Was it like a lot of them or something? No, no, that's that's not what she meant at all, right? Laura, no, you didn't mean that. No, no, no. What I meant to say was Ted's very handsome, mm -hmm. so I'm always interested in meeting the lady that can snatch him up. Did you just call me a whore? What? You just worry about your own snatch. How about that, honey? Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. What the hell whoa, happened? Whoa, happened? We're having a friendly yeah, meal this here. This was this a, nice a nice evening. Time. Don't talk shit to me. I just asked you a question. You know, you're a freaking snob. You think you're all cool because you work at some fancy shit place? Okay, Whatever. take it easy. Nice, Laurie. Real nice. M me? It's not my fault she can't speak English. Oh, f you. Just because you're on the business world and shit, you think what? Everybody should, like, suck your asshole or something? Okay, all right. <laughs> look, Tammy, look, look, come on, honey, let's get out of here. We'll go back to my place for a couple of vodka and strawberry quicks. You all right, know come what? On. I gave birth once, bitch. I could kick your f***ing ass, and you better never show your face around Quincy. Okay, Hear okay, me? come Ever. on, come on. I didn't know you had a baby. Is it alive? <sighs> Ow! I hate that word! What? That word, it's so sharp. It's like an electric sword slashing everything what? in its path. Why would you say that? What? You didn't exactly stand up for me. I'm trying to walk a line here. I want to be fair to you and to him, you know? Well, I think you're being a little more fair to him. Oh, come on. You know, your boss called this morning asking me how my arm was. Huh? Yeah, because of that dog fight that I tried to break up. Oh, my. If I had to make a guess, I would say that you made up some bullshit excuse to get out of work to go to Ted's. Now, am I right? I made you out to be a hero. You know what, John? We asked Ted to move out so we can give ourselves a chance without it. You're not giving anything a chance if you keep blowing off work to get high with your teddy bear. You're right. I've been getting stoned too much. I know that. I've been bumming around with Ted too much. I know that, too. You give me one more chance, I promise I can fix it. John, I need a man, not a little boy with a teddy bear. I know. Done. Man. Right here in front of you. All right, look at these pecs. These are man packs. Look at the hair on my upper lip. That's man hair. <coughs> I just fought it. That was a man fight. <laughs> oh. 
fine. Fine, John, but this is, this is, I swear to God, your last chance. Trust me, I love you. All right, I love you. I love you so much, you won't be sorry, I swear. Did you really just fart? Yeah, but I pushed it that way with my hand. I wonder who's gonna hit first. So if I told him once, I told him a million times. These <coughs> numbers do not, do not <coughs> add up. Who did this to us? God damn it, I'm here on business! Oh. Here we go. I'm really glad that you came. Me too. Yeah. No, is it okay if I kick your boss's ass? I mean, that won't affect your workplace chemistry, will it? Please play nice. For you, I will. Thank you. Anything. There she is. I was worried you weren't coming. Hey, you squirt. How you doing? Where's your bunny rabbit? He's a bear. Got it. Oh my God, this house is. Huge, I know. Try not to get lost. Come on in. Wow, here are the ladies. Look at you guys. You guys look amazing. A little heavy on the eye makeup, but pretty good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. you guys know Loria, Jim, right? John. John. Yeah. You guys remember John? Hi. Hi. Listen, uh, why don't uh, John and I go get a drink at the bar? Uh, sure. Great, we'll be right back. Come on, buddy. It's an old sweater, huh? This is Wade Boggs' autographed bat. I just barely outbid Phil Donahue for that at auction. Wow, cool. Yeah, cool. These boxing gloves worn by Joe Lewis in his first fight. This is art. Get it? These were John Lennon's glasses. They're worth like a million dollars. That's me and Tom Skerritt. Oh, check this out. It's Lance Armstrong's nut. I had it freeze dried and bronzed. Every now and then when my life's getting me down and things are tough, I just come up here and I look at it. And it reminds me that things aren't so bad. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. So, talk to me, Johnny Quest. How are things with you and Lori? You know, things are great, actually. Oh, that's great. That is great. You know, uh, Lori would hate me for saying this, but, you know, she told me how you are at the office. And as one gentleman to another, I just want to say, I really hope you get Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> um, well, let me, uh, I think I need to clear the air here a little. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of a fun time boss and whatnot, but, but look, man, I, I do that with everybody at the office. I'm a kook. I have no designs on your girlfriend. I mean, we work together and that's it. I mean, I think you're a great guy. And she's a very lucky girl. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Excuse me. Hey, Ted. Johnny, where are you? You gotta get over here, man. Why? What's going on? Okay, so I'm having a little impromptu thing with some people at my apartment, and John, Sam Jones is here. What? Sam Jones, Flash Gordon is here. Holy what? You remember I said my buddy's cousin is friends with Sam Jones? Well, my buddy's in town with his cousin, and who do you think is with him? Sam Jones! Sam Jones is here, and John, his hair is parted down the middle. Just like in the movie. Yes, get over here right now. I'm Laurie here. I'm already on probation. I just... I can't. John, Flash Gordon was the most important influence of our formative years. He taught us right from wrong, good from evil, and that the word acting apparently has an extremely broad definition. Flash Gordon is the symbol of our friendship, John. Come share this with me. I'm coming. Rex, I gotta go. Look, I'll be back in like 30 minutes tops, okay? Laurie cannot find out. She absolutely cannot know I was gone. If you can cover for me, I'm cool with all that. I got your back on this. She won't know. I've been there. All right, this is one man to another. I don't really know you, but I'm trusting you as a man. This is serious. Dude, one man to another, I got you on this. Thank you. I'll be back. I'm going to have sex with your girlfriend. <laughs>